So, Bonnie, President Ma ying uh won a convincing uh, re-election in Taiwan. How and why did he have such a decisive victory? Well, he did win by a larger margin than I think some expected, although compared to 2008, of course, he got 1.4 million fewer votes uh, than he got in 2008. But I think that the reason why he won this uh, election by about six percentage points over uh, the other candidates is because of the concern in Taiwan about the uncertainty, the uncertain future if the DPP came back to power. And I think economics and business were the central parts of, of what was going on in people's minds. Very concerned about a downturn in Taiwan's economy if the cross-strait relationship went sour. The um, Chinese have to be quite happy about this in Beijing as they view it because they were worried that Tsai and the DPP might move away from Ma's um, process of steady rapprochement, uh, the economic cooperation and framework agreement and the like. Do you think China actually shaped the election outcome with their behavior, or did they just sort of get a draw that, that, that's beneficial from their perspective? I think that the Chinese did seek to use some tools to uh, influence this election. I don't think that their influence was decisive. They did encourage, provide, for example, many charter flights for uh, businessmen from Taiwan and the mainland to go back to Taiwan. Probably about 200,000 people did go back, and many of those voted for Ma, although not all of them. Um, and then they bought, for example, uh, milkfish from mm -hmm. southern Taiwan fishermen. Uh, so I think in small ways they did seek to influence it, but uh, I, I, I think that they've learned lessons from past elections where they have intervened too overtly, and that has been, of course, counterproductive. And does Ma come out of this victory um, with a mandate to continue uh, the policies he's had, or do you think he comes out of this uh, as some in the DPP fear, uh, emboldened to move even faster towards uh, what the opposition in Taiwan worries would be unification. I think that Ma only has a mandate to continue his existing policy, particularly the cross-strait policy. Uh, and in the uh, legislature, the KMT will have a smaller margin. The DPP won 40 votes this time. Uh, the KMT got, again, 17 fewer than it did in 2008. So the DPP may be a more effective opposition in the, uh, in, in the legislature. Uh, I think that there is no appetite in Taiwan for accelerating the pace of uh, the relationship with the mainland. We saw during the campaign that President Ma raised the possibility of signing a peace accord with Beijing, and his uh, support in the polls yeah. did dip significantly. And I think that's a lesson that President Ma will take away. There is an absence of domestic consensus in Taiwan on moving towards more sensitive political arrangements, to, uh, talking about sovereignty with, with Beijing. So I don't think that is likely. I don't think it's in the cards. The speculation was that President Ma talked about that peace uh, agreement to take some wind out of the sails of the third candidate, James Sung, whose party is uh, more pro-Beijing and more pro-unification, broadly defined. Um, do you think it worked? Do you think the James Sung uh, uh, factor as a third candidate, who was more likely to take votes from Ma, was, was blunted successfully by the KMT? Or did they just get a lot more votes because they, they uh, put forward a platform that worked? I think that the James Sung factor was blunted for other reasons, not because of the strategy of the KMT, but because in the end, voters for James Sung are pan-blue voters. They, they support uh, the uh, more uh, the the, mm -hmm. the KMT and, and and its agenda, and in this case, I think people at the end of the day did not want to waste their vote. They knew mm -hmm. that James Sung could not win. So even though he was polling about seven or eight percent in many of the polls, people did not want to use their vote and risk having Tsai Ing-wen come to power. So mm -hmm. I think they cast it in the end for Ma ying instead of for James Sung, and in the end he only got 2.8 percent. And finally, for the U.S. and U.S. foreign policy strategy in Asia, what are the implications? What's the takeaway for the administration? Stay on course, or, or does this change somehow our approach to the region and to Taiwan? Well, I think for the United States it's 
clear that Ma's victory uh, means that uh, the cross-strait relationship will remain stable. There is not likely to be great tensions that will reemerge between the two sides of the strait. But I think that we need to remain um, uh, very engaged uh, with Taiwan and with Beijing uh, going forward. We want to support Taiwan's uh, desire to uh, expand its participation in the international community, to support uh, the process of negotiating free trade agreements that now Taiwan mm -hmm. is uh, entering into, first with Singapore, but now there are many other countries, India, New Zealand, uh, that are that have expressed uh, interest in, in, in those. We have to make sure that Taiwan is not marginalized going forward. Mm -hmm. And we have, of course, our own TIFA talks, the mm -hmm. Trade Investment Framework Agreement talks, to resume with Taiwan, which are incredibly important, because um, we, would, we would like to see Taiwan get itself ready to join uh, the Trans-Pacific Partnership mm -hmm. talks. Uh, we need Taiwan to be more integrated into the, the regional uh, process of trade liberalization. And so far, it has not. And I think that we need to put pressure on mainland China to reduce its military buildup opposite Taiwan. That's an area where we have just seen no progress. And I do hope that going forward, we will continue to see uh, arms sales to Taiwan. Uh, the Obama administration has sold $13 billion in arms uh, so far. Uh, but in terms of platforms, uh, new weapon systems, those were essentially approved by the Bush administration. We have not seen new weapon systems sold to Taiwan. And the F-16 CDs in Taiwan's request for them remains on the table. Thank you. Thank you.